Well, hello everyone. Today we will be playing Hand of Fade. I don't know much about this game. Um, it's a card game, um, and we will see further uh, what it, how you play it, or what it is exactly. Uh, we will know by playing it, of course. It has a few achievements. Uh, it has 53 achievements. I have zero achievements because I've never played it before. See, one minute, and that's just now when I started up the game. Uh, so let's press start. Ah, one more for the game. Come, Sid. You have passed the 13 gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. Okay. game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. So, let me get straight. Press start. I didn't have an option. I didn't have any options. I couldn't select anything. I couldn't change any options. But that's fine. I guess I can always change it uh, for the run. Let's, let's say when you start up the game for the first time, you just press start and it immediately starts up the game without you having any option at all. Which is not bad, I'm just saying. Just saying. Check Here this. is the first member of my court, the Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. Some lore also. Let the cards fall where they may. We okay. begin. He's a god with cards. He's really good with cards. Choose your next card. So I don't know how you played the game just yet, so don't blame me. Fair Merith, I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. So I noticed when I pressed on this card, it said food minus one. So now it seems like I have 19 food, 10 gold and 100 health. I don't know yet what that is for, but I just noticed it right there. I'm gonna move my camera. Oops, I'm gonna move my camera corner so you can see it better I guess. Voila. Continue. One day in the shady forest you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. Continue. I merit of the forest folk. Choice, but still. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Fifteen gold I got, so. Fifteen gold as well. So, I got to draw three gold cards, game cards, it seems like it's called. Um, two from fifteen and one from twenty gold, so now I have sixty gold. Greatest of magical artifacts were forged long ago and have only limited uses before their power is spent. Use them wisely and they may guide you to victory. Farewell, mortal. Okay, choose your next card. Can I actually choose this one? No, I just have to take the next one on the board, I guess. So, <clears throat> let's do that. I was never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. Mr. Lionel. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite, 
quite painfully with this with his wooden staff to get your attention and you notice that he appears to be a goblin poorly disguised as a human so this game seems to have a lot of lore a lot of extra to it which is good I don't say it's bad around it's good but it seems like you're playing a story depending on the cards you get you have some choices to make I guess we'll see for on his well, I don't know this word his wizard wizard face grins I guess at you at you with a hint of madness my name is Mr. Lionel if you give me what I need boy I will conjure up your heart desire with this wizarding wand of my own take creation. your time if you like I've waited long enough hmm Cackles uncontrollably for a few moments, then sits patiently waiting for your answer. Give him pressure from your point. I guess if we give him something, we get something in return. Occasionally losing his place and moving different coins around randomly, he attempts to count the gold you place in front of him. This carries on for a while before he quite calmly and deliberately swallows each of the coins one by one. Now let's see what I have for you. So I guess he didn't know that what the gold is used for or he's just very hungry. <laughs> Minus 20 gold. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground and the shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old beam. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? There are one equipment card. So that's the price I get for the 20 gold. One equipment card. Sorry for my voice acting. I'm not really doing any voice acting. I'm just reading it, so... Sorry for that. Oh, I pressed that accident. I actually want to press to continue. But I guess that's the right card I took. Chills with the street, uh, the hero to reflect project as back at the attacker. This must be formed with precise time as the project was near. But I wasn't detected, was I? Okay. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Okay. Then, before you can stop him with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern door. The thief. Twisted that gun. first moment. That glinting weapon. The call to action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. Okay. Choose from these options. Success. Climb down to retrieve your weapon. Very carefully, you make your way to the bottom of the canyon. You, you retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Draw one equipment card. Axe, 25 damage. You like to equip the axe? Yes. That's more damage. A moment to savor. That will make you much more effective. There's down once nice more, one. seeking the heart of it all. You embark upon the next level. Of your, your journey is well begun. Squire. This is what I was looking for. You show some aptitude for the game. Perhaps this will not be as boring as I thought. In the shady grove of the Beaten Trail, you find a trail immersion to the trade with wandering adventurers. 
mage sell only specific items that they have discovered in faraway lands. Their prices can be high, but they also pay well for anything that catches their interests. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Oh, have you? If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. A classical approach to dealing with crowds. The power of a prophet. Choose your fate. Fair, is it? Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. Dealer draws you one monster card. Weapons bristle from the trees around you, their wielders' faces obscured by the underground. Give us your gold or die. Hmm, attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten you. Guess that, or otherwise all my gold is gone. You shout a bell cries, cry and raise your weapon. Yes I do. The bell begins. Okay. This is pretty cool. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. Increasing the effect of one sort of magic with another, all you need is a channel for power, and it's simple enough. Ten health, yes, now I've hundred. Only lost five health before, so. Jack of dust. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. This Let's token see. will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. More dust. I guess that's the, the amount of difficulty in the enemy. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counter attack.
bad. <laughs> Down into the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face 11 more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle. None reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. Scary. He's warning me. The better I get, the better he will. Don't know what these cards yet do. Seems promising. It's my loot. Shall we deal again? Ah, good. Now you understand the basics, we can begin in earnest. Your hero is returned to his beginning items. Our decks are reset. Welcome to the cabinet, home of the members of my court. Story mode. So that was like a tutorial. Now we check off skills. Serving as captains to squids of lesser skeletons, this unholy abomination strike fear into one of the hearts of all warm blooded folk. For until this fiend is defeated, their legions are effectively endless. Select. Time for you to face my undead army. Meet the Jack of Skulls. Thank you, Lord. So I have to build the deck. Standard. You don't know yet how good or how bad the card actually is, but since it's medium, like three or twelve. Mm -hmm. Change some things, but. Some cards are locked and cannot be removed from your deck. So these are in the deck for now. These are not, I guess. Oh, I always press the desk button. Okay. And now, let's start, I guess. How can I start? content awaits you. It 
will be awarded when you complete your run. I will add my own cards to the deck. How boring life would be without a little spice. We play for life and death. Prepare yourself. Maiden like before. Given how rarely start. one encounters the folk. You are fortunate indeed to meet Merith again. Or the perhaps same. you are merely the same. cycling around the wheel and dipping into the same memories time. I'm gonna and ask for gold again. again. Last time it helped me. If I see the shop again, I might be able to buy some equipment. Depending on the cards I will get, the story will change. This is a new card. I always thought it was best to avoid the problems of others. I see you have no such concerns. Get them off the cards. There's a token in it for you if you win. Nice. You hear a shout from up ahead and the sounds of battle. Racing forwards, you discover a warrior surrounded by undead. Broken bones litter the area around the man, but there are still more closing in on him, and he appears badly injured. Okay, so we'll have to fight, I guess. Because there's already two of skulls, which is an e easy enemy. Stranger! He calls out and he, as he throws his weapon to you. Here, take my mace and put an end to these monstrosities. So I get his mace. That's the mace? Yes, it is. It's a lump of iron on a stick. Not terribly subtle. Okay. So. Like really? Cookie. Yes. Is that what you're going to do? Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. So now I have to fight the undead. It looks scary. I could have done it without taking damage, but I didn't jump away. Good work putting them to rest. Keep the maze. We have enough back at Kadir. He says, slowly standing. We've been hearing reports of undead in our kingdom recently, and I came to investigate. He stops to look around at all the bone fragments. More of them here than I suspected. Some new horror must have decided to settle in these parts and brought its minions. I must head back to the capital and report this to the Duke. Watch your step, friend. There is something more powerful at work than just these skeletons. The token yeah, is yours. The token is mine. Well done. Mr. Lionel again. I'm starting to wonder if you're simply leaving this card in as a quick way to get your hands on a shield. Same. Same. This time we'll give him bread because last time he ate my cones, coins. He considers the bread seriously before placing it carefully in his coat pocket, seemingly satisfied. Minus one food. My, uh, min Mr. Oh, minister, I was gonna say. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground and shield. That's also the same. Uh, throw one. So I guess if whether I give him coins, whether I give him food, it keeps on being the same results. Okay. Stairs. Head downwards the next. if you dare. Stay the stairs. Many have reached this far. Further, in Twisted fact, can end again. I do not know if you have what it takes to do See better than they did. To retrieve the weapon. Okay. Military damage. We 
Reaver, also a new card. Running water protects against many things in myth. Generally, though, it's just a pain to get past. Light armor makes the crossing really easy. You reach the other side, cold and wet, but unharmed. I had a huge success would give me that. Traveling Tinker. Approach the shop. Distinctly average. What do you expect me to say? Congratulations. Hmm. Interesting choice. Our foe. Yes. What brings you to play the game? Ha. I know you Dead will not tell me. Soul. Like all the rest, you are silent. You see an ancient ornate coffin in the main burial chamber. It may hold spectacular wealth, but it will certainly be hurt. Draw two monster cards. I'm sure you are grateful for that. In my day, we simply avoided being wounded. Healing will suffice, however. Middle of the road in every way. Can't solve this one. Bandits are displeased with your challenges. A group of bandits, bandits suddenly attacks. The king of dust isn't happy about you killing his men. Okay. Good job. 
pretty easy by for now, for now. Among the bodies you find a scrap of parchment with a rough description of you, plus an offer of a reward from the King of Dust. Okay. They want my booty. Ambush. What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? A slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. How can I get that much some ship I mean? I did not realize you were such a fearsome adversary. I will bear that in mind. Yes, bear that in mind for next time. While searching the area of anything worth salvaging, you realize, you realize that one of your opponents is on pretending to be dead. A quick, a quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish, finish searching the area. Demo, a knife for all and mercy for none. Artifacts provide powerful special abilities to use in combat, but it takes time to ready them. Stairs. Were you hoping this was the end? No. Another floor awaits. Good. Now all you need to do is find and kill the Jack of Skulls and we can progress. Win this and claim my token. A cloaked devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your strength, so-called hero. Choose your foe. What? Let me take the hardest one. Or seemingly the hardest one. Artifact 2. Excellent, the devil cries. You have passed my cunning test. Have some treasure. Perhaps next time our paths will cross. I will kill you myself. Equipment <coughs> okay. cards. Or two breath. A shield for the marathon, not the sprint. Sure, that's the right approach. I think so. Max Halt plus five. Shop. Mm -hmm, yes. Approach the shop. Let's buy some more food. One can never have to. Well then, how will you deal with this? The battle begins.
Armor protects you from damage. The best armor, of course, does so much more. Check of skulls. The undead. The Denisha's of all the undead. players in the game, these are the most dangerous in the world, yet in no natural form. A wrongness, an error, cheating. This tenacious undead is unusual, unusually difficult to lay to rest. In addition to sheer strength, this skeleton has a power to revive recently defeated skeletons in its close vicinity. So I need a to challenge for you and a token the guy if myself, you succeed. Because otherwise, he will keep reviving all the rest. Hmm. The other monsters. Shots from rifles cannot be deflected. You would do better to avoid them. Are you agile enough? Indeed, but you have roused the dead in their dusty tombs, and even I cannot say what will come of it. Now our wager becomes more interesting. Will the tools you've earned suffice to address the challenges I pose? That is the question, is it not? Murder at sea. DLC has arrived. Visit the land. Another round, and our game truly begins. Queen of Dust. A bold woman, this one. She did not collapse when the Empire did. No, she took up arms, organized her people, and vowed that in a country where death had gathered, she would be the one dealing it. Now we play for the cup, the first of my symbols. I've added some cards to spice up the game. In addition to the pain and gain decks, there are now blessings and curses. Choose your steps carefully. 
blessings and the maiden. Seems you like it might think the me. world of the cards is grim. Yet even in the darkness, there is light to be found. A little gold to give you a taste for it. You go this one. Powerful priests. Priests, gods, and eternal damnations. Meet a wandering no priest who greets you in it. friendly manner. Let's hope for huge success. Almost. He says a few words in the language of the old religion and gently touches your forehead. It is done. Draw one blessing card. Blessings, blessings will remain always active and are never removed. Unless you die, of course. Then you're back where you began, as always. Any kill made using an X grants the player tree health. Take the token. It is yours. Stairs. One more step down, and we may see the end of this. Or another set of stairs. This time I kept exploring. Depths of Shell. We have done this one also before. I don't have food. I'm gonna do something else. Ask him what he needs this time. Need? I need to help you. Ah, see, you didn't actually don't need to give him anything. <laughs> There's. Every step you take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. Yeah, food, yeah. This game is still only beginning. New rules, new tools, Trailing new abilities. Here. We have far to go as yet. I need to press the shop because I need some food. Sure you are grateful for that. Yes. Now I need to go back here to go here. Okay. Indecent arrival. We play for a token now. You are minding your own business in a local tavern when suddenly three masked men burst through the doors. Grab a young man from the bar and manhandle him outside. One patron burst out in protest but he is quickly silenced by the solemn stares of all those around him. Leave them be, Garrett. If it is his time, then it must be done. Follow. You follow the masked man outside. Immediately, you are confronted by a large crowd, all wearing masks. This is gonna, this is gonna be brutal. Their leader speaks to you. Whoa there, stranger. I really would prefer that no outsider witness what we are about to hear. I know this may look like a godforsaken thing we do, but you have no idea of our troubles. So I'll ask you not to involve yourself. I will not ask twice, we have no time for object objections. The crowd turns and drags away the young man, their torches burning a mournful light into the distance. Once the light has faded from sight, you follow their path into the forest. You catch up with them, and to your surprise, they are gathered around a yawning pro portal that whirls with malicious Despite their disguises, it is obvious that none of them, hooded figures, relish the sight before them, and many are obviously distraught. The captive is carried to the portal atop the shoulders of six people, and thought they were his coven bearers, and he are already dead. The young man struggles, uh, struggles are subdued by bonds of rope. Will you interrupt the ceremony? Uh, interrupt. <laughs> you 
you burst forth from your hidden hiding place and plead with the assembled crowd not to go through with whatever bizarre ritual they are engaged in, but you gain no support. Their leader eventually speaks above the crowd if this man is so adamant that one of our own should not be sent to the underworld, then perhaps he should go himself. Uh -oh. You are immediately seized by the crowd and pushed towards the portal. Try as you might, they are, they are too strong for you and you cannot escape. You stumble and fall into the portal. You fall to the ground with only a gentle yolt. You find yourself in a forest that bears a most striking resemblance to where you just were, but with two very significant differences. The crowd of math onlookers are gone and the sky burns with bright red flames. Out of the sulfur and flames emerge full hell beasts. Uh oh. <laughs> what did I get myself into? After you destroyed the last hellbeast, the portal steers back into life. You are lifted off your feet and sucked into the vortex before being deposed. Deep side, back in the leafy forest you were ejected from earlier. This card is not yours. Great. And the dog you hear in the background is being annoying. So I guess I will stop here with the stream and the video. So this was Hand of Fate. It's a great game. It's really fun to play. You can choose your own destiny in some way. You, yeah, You can make some choices, but most of the choices for now that I can see do mostly the same thing too. Um, but it's great. It's a card game with a story. You follow the story and the story follows on fur. Really great. The combat is really fun. So there is combat, there is card game. It's, it's really fun. It's, it's completely new in my opinion. Uh, there are not much games like this that I know of. So it's really fun. Before I end the stream and the video, I want to say before, before I said there was no setting, you just start immediately with the game. But here is the settings. Subtitles I was off. I will put it on for myself. You can choose the languages here. You can reset your progress. Uh, you can change the attack indicators. You can change even the spider that's on the screen. If you're afraid of the spider in the left corner that comes in from time to time, you can even put that one off. And graphically, you can change everything as well. It even recognizes my graphical card perfectly and it puts everything immediately on the highest level. So it has all the settings you would think a normal and a good game would have. So it is more than okay. This game has everything to be a good game in my opinion and it is really a good game. So if you like the video, if you like the game, you can buy it on the Steam store or somewhere else where you like, of course. Um, I like the game, I will certainly play it for and I hope I can finish it one day. Uh, this was Hand of Fate, I hope you liked it and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.